this one can be a touchy subject, but if you had to give um, advice to family members that are dealing with and working with family members in the business when it comes to performance reviews mm. and talent assessments, um, what would that, what would it be? Because that can be really challenging or how often is it not done at all because the family members are like, well, sometimes the attitude is what, what difference does it make if you yeah. do a performance review for me? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It is a real touchy subject, right? Because this is a family member. It's your sibling that you grew up with, or it's your, your father or mother who raised you, or it's your cousin that uh, you, you played with on the holidays. It, it, it's, it's tough when one of the family members may not be performing to expectations. What we find is a default in family businesses is to ignore it. And we can justify ignoring that performance for the greater good of the family. So we can, so we can go to Thanksgiving dinner and maintain harmony. So the, the issue with that is ignoring it may not be an issue at first, but over months, or I know some family businesses for years, they ignored it and it becomes almost like a cancer because that family member is not performing and is maybe even perhaps causing problems or dysfunctionality or misalignment to the goal or to the vision that the uh, leader's trying to go. It, it can be very problematic. So that's why we say, um, you first of all have to declare your business philosophy. And as you know, Brandy, when we've had those situations that we always went back to when it was a tough family issue, and let's just talk about it family performance. Uh, we didn't really experience that in, in your business, but we have in others. We have a family member not performing. We always go back to, well, what did we declare last year? What is our business philosophy? It's a business first philosophy. We're going to put the best interest of the 150 employees in our business ahead of our one family member. So then that gives the confidence, the courage to go have that tough conversation with that family member. And quite honestly, that family member needs to know that. they need the feedback that they're not meeting the needs, meeting the expectations. Now, if you have a robust talent management plan and you're doing performance reviews every year, at least, and you're treating every family member employee the same as all employee members because you're a business first family, then these issues are going to be more easily dealt with in, in the process. But it is. It is a, a sticky situation and it doesn't do anybody any good because what the outcome is, is you think you're doing good by ignoring it and just saying, well, for the greater good of the harmony in the family. And so we can all go to Thanksgiving dinner together. I'm just going to let my brother be my brother. And I'm just going to push him off to the corner and try to tell everybody, ignore him. Well, it just gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. And then when you finally confront it, then what happens is now your brother's no longer showing up to Thanksgiving dinner, right? So you've, you've created dysfunctionality, not only in the business, but now it's bled, bled over into the family as well. So it's always better to, to, to uh, address these issues as soon as you can. And it's even better to make sure you have a process mm -hmm. and that process supports your business philosophy. Yeah, totally agree. And, um, don't overlook the power of the third party perspective. I think that tends to make the biggest difference um, when it comes to the family, family members in the business. Um, having, having that person that you're right, was, wasn't picking on you when you were 12 um, and also wasn't, wasn't your parent, right? Uh, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before in the past, but even at 38, we get grouped together and called the kids. Um, and and it, it seems innocent enough, but at the same time, you want to have this 
like I'm not, I'm not that anymore. And so having, having that third party perspective can help with that. Also doing the talent assessments can help as well, because that really reinforces. And again, is, is also a third party perspective to say, this is your daughter, but this is also your, your CFO or whoever they may be. These are the strengths that that person has. Um, and so it's good to balance when you're saying you're, you've got your business first family mindset to truly live that a hundred percent and say, okay, yes, then this is who this person is and this is what we need to do. Yeah. That, and that's really a good point. You, you brought up the assessments. I mean, that's, that's a, a third, third party. It's another mm -hmm. component that's very objective. Um, and it, certainly you don't base all of your decisions on just, just a, uh, uh, a behavioral assessment or a skill assessment, but it's a tool, right? And I, I think the other thing to remember is whether you're a family member or non-family member, addressing performance issues as close to the time when they happen. If it, if it was a negative issue in performance, address that with the employee to find out, well, what did you learn from that? How would you do it differently next time? That way you don't have to wait to the end of the year and feel like you're going to got all these bricks all stacked up you want to just put on their head you want to deal with it early and actually use it positive as a learning moment and you do that with your family members as well you want to do it as early as possible and also when you find somebody's performing beyond your expectations they're doing really well well at minimum at minimum recognize that performance by saying wow you know Sally, you did a great job. You landed that account. I didn't think we'd ever get that account landed. Congratulations, good job. Mm -hmm. And if it was really terrific, maybe you wanna also provide some sort of reward. I know that's one of the most fun things that any leader can do is uh, be able to pass out rewards, incentives or bonuses. And so you wanna kind of always in performance management, try to catch people doing things right as opposed to only focusing on catching people doing things wrong. 